as I drove into Polly's plantation, I found it to be beautiful. The development was very pretty. Uh, the housing looked nice. The housing was not in your face. It was sort of tucked back in the trees. It looked like looked like a very uh, pleasant place to be. Uh, the golf course still looks very nice. Uh, I said the bones were there, but I thought I thought the place looked pretty darn good for as many years as as old as it is. It's 30 years old without really having a lot a lot put back into it. People come to me and say they want to do a golf course uh, in the southern part of. Uh, uh, Myrtle Beach area, and, and they showed me a piece of property and says, can we do a golf course here? And we figured out, yes, you can, and that's what that's where Polly's Plantation is. Uh, I remember most every hole in the golf course. Uh, I remember a lot of the trees, the placement of where they were. They've grown a little bit in 30 years. Uh, you know, the big part of the golf course was the marsh and, you know, how we handled it and how we treated the marsh. Uh, they allowed us to take a sort of a bridge across it and we, so we got tees on 13 and 17 on that. Uh, we got a green that was sort of out into the edge of the marsh on the 13th green and the 17th just off of it. And it was always been one of my, what I thought was one of, one of the good golf courses that I did back when. Uh, I didn't realize it was quite as tough as it is because it's a difficult golf course. But people like to come here. You've got about 80 golf courses in the area. Uh, it's become a, a tremendous uh, tourist situation for golfers and uh, as long as that's good that's good for the area it's good for the economy it's good for uh, uh, it's good for the game of golf only the only the alligator came up on the third green and took my ball set the ball on the green and as I walked up in the green an alligator came out of the out of the uh, marsh on the left and came, came up on the green picked his, my ball up and went back in the water <laughs>